The endocrine system is a signalling system that works in conjunction with the nervous system to control and regulate the body. In contrast to the nervous system, which uses electrical signals to affect this, the endocrine system communicates using chemical signals called hormones. These hormones are used to control growth and development, metabolism, reproductive processes and even affect our mood. Hormones are produced by the endocrine glands and enter into the bloodstream where they circulate around the body. They are keyed to specific tissues and when recognised they signal the tissue to perform a task. In contrast with the rapid and brief nature of nervous impulses, endocrine signals are relatively slow and act for prolonged periods. As an example of how part of the endocrine system works, consider the pancreas. In addition to aiding digestion, the pancreas also serves an endocrine function which regulates blood sugar levels. High blood sugar causes the pancreas to release the hormone insulin into the blood. When this reaches the liver, it signals the liver to convert sugar into glycogen for storage. This reduces the blood sugar levels, which reduces the stimulus to the pancreas to produce insulin, and insulin levels fall. This slows down conversion in the liver and eventually stops it altogether when optimal levels have been achieved. When blood sugar levels fall, the pancreas releases another hormone called glycogen, which stimulates the liver to convert glycogen back into sugar and again restore the optimal blood sugar level. When this system goes wrong, the body develops diabetes and becomes unable to regulate blood sugar. There are two types of diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, the body can no longer produce insulin and regular insulin injections are required to signal the liver to convert and store blood sugar. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas can still produce insulin, but the liver is no longer sensitive to it and so does not respond to the hormone signal. In some cases, type 2 diabetes can be controlled by diet, exercise and medication, but in other cases, insulin injections are required.